watching ABC4 News. Welcome back, everyone. Tomorrow marks the beginning of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, but let's start the conversation right now. Dr. Katherine Everton, a radiologist at Lone Peak Hospital, joining us today to talk about a very important topic. So, doctor, uh, let's get right to it. Why is it so important for Breast Cancer Awareness Month to be discussed and, and highlighted every single year? So I think our lives are all getting increasingly busy and chaotic and having one time of year where healthcare providers can reach out to women specifically and remind them that they need to take a step back, breathe and take care of themselves becomes really important. I've spoken to many patients over the years who watch a TV segment like this and it's only then that they remember to make their screening mammogram appointment or it's only then that they actually check their breast and find a lump that needs evaluation. So we need to continue to have this conversation every year. I love that. I love that you point out the importance of having these conversations here during the news. Utah does consistently rank last in women getting mammograms. So let's talk about, we really struggle with that unfortunately, and let's give some encouragement to women out there that it does matter. We need to make this happen and make it a priority for each of us. Yeah, absolutely. So recent studies with the up-to-date mammogram technology have shown that yearly screening mammograms starting at the age of 40 will decrease breast cancer deaths in a population by 30 to 40 percent. That's really important. And Cancers that are found on mammograms are often smaller and more treatable. So not only are we saving lives by finding them early, but we're improving your quality of life after your treatment. We ask that every woman undergoes routine screening mammography because 75% of women who are diagnosed with breast cancer have no family history and no identifiable risk factors. Truly, your greatest risk for breast cancer is having breasts and getting older. And we all need to remember that. There's no good way to decide otherwise. Okay, so we know we need to do it. What can women expect when they go in for a mammogram? Some people are a little uneasy about the experience, but there really is no reason to be. Oh, I agree. We do everything we can to ease your fears. Basically, you'll check in at our front desk. You will receive a basic infection screening. You'll be asked to wear a mask for the entire appointment. And then we take you back to the mammogram area and ask a few basic questions that will help us understand your personal risk for breast cancer. We also take plenty of time to answer any questions you have and to give us any other medical information that will help you during the exam. I think it's important that you did point out that COVID-19, while that is a big concern right now for our community, when it comes to your mammogram, there's really no reason not to go because of the pandemic. Yeah, there's some studies coming out that says, uh, that are starting to say that delaying routine medical care during the pandemic is going to have serious consequences. So at Lone Peak, we're doing everything we can to follow up-to-date recommendations that will keep both our patients and our staff safe. So I want women to have confidence that they can schedule their screening mammogram or scheduled to get evaluated for a lump or new symptom and feel safe and supported. I love that. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us. So eloquent in such an important topic, and we do appreciate you being here. Of course, go to abc4.com, and when you get there, we will connect you with Lone Peak, Peak Hospital and their website. Thank you so much for joining us. We do appreciate it. Thank you. Up next, a look at the